guys welcome back to my channel as you can see your girl is a black hair again remember i dyed my hair red i link that video like in when the cards will also be linked down below when i dye my hair red i'm back black all the products that i use in this video and how i got my hair back black as you can see i dyed it i dyed my hands <laughs> if you want to see me go back from red to black keep on watching Alright y'all, so today we're gonna be I'm gonna be dyeing my hair. I'm gonna take this red out because I'm like over the red now. And I'm just go back to like brown ish. Anyway, the products that I use will be linked down below. Um I did a, a little test strand. Right here, and it did what I needed to do. So we're just gonna go ahead and, and do All right, guys, so we're going ahead and section off the hair. I'm going to start off in the back and work my way up. Um, as you just see, I'm just sectioning off the back, putting the product on. Baby, make sure you use gloves when you dye your hair. Um, another option could have been doing a bleach bath, but I don't know. This didn't want to damage my hair, especially my curl battery, since it's already, like, somewhat heat damage. So the safest bet was just to put color on top of this red so it can get out. Other Crime on me, your love. Need a little time for me. I don't mean she love me. I don't mean she want me. She want me. She don't need no money. And she really running. Really on a run. She really something. Maybe honestly, I yeah. need to get serious. Ooh, I like Only thing I really, really know. Shot. It's a felony, 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 felony. Also, I forgot to mention I am using a 20 developer with this dye. Okay, y'all, so let's do a little mini rant, okay? So, first I'm going in with this um, neutralizer shampoo because it is, like, quite strong. So, it does have, like, some type of bleach in it. So, I'm just making sure I get all that product out of my head. Yeah, let's talk about the elephant in the room. I know I missed a spot in the back, but, you know, that's that. Um, secondly, the Shea Mor Moisture. Girl, I do not like that shampoo. I don't like it, but it's my money on it, so I'm going to keep it. I did add some things um, to that shampoo because I'm going to keep it. Might as well make it to my liking. I think I talk about it more at the end, at the video, so yeah, just keep watching. Anyway, the curls are still intact, which I'm like really proud of, so that's a plus. Quickly, we're just gonna hop right in. Like I said, I'm not doing nothing drastic with my hair. We're working on healthy hair, so I'm gonna leave it in this natural state. I'm about to show y'all my daughter home once again. We're just supposed to basking on my lips. Hey, hey, Kelly. Uh oh. 
so that is that one you tell here like a brownish color. My roots are like black, but with the red with it, it is somewhat brown. But what? My hair feels so good. So soft. Like I was saying about that, um, Shea Moisturizer. Girl, I don't really know about like that shampoo because I feel like it was stripping. I feel like it stripped my hair like way too much. I didn't really like that. So, I'm taking the conditioner back because I don't like that product. But however, I did put this um, Dew Grow and some of this black Jamaican castle oil with peppermint inside of the shampoo. I am, I spent all money on it, can't take it back, so I'm going to use it until it's up. Anyway. My daughter is in here, I'm not going to tell her to leave, she can stay in here. It's not even one of the videos. Um, anyway, first things first, I am going to go ahead and oil my scalp. I did use some of this in the shower with my um, conditioner. I'm just putting a little bit more in here. I'm also going to go in with some of this um, Butterfly Curl by Erica J. It's only a little bit in here, so I'm just going to use the rest of it. And I'm going to put my um, black castor oil inside of it so it's easier for me to use. Now, let's go ahead and figure out what we're going to do that. I think I just want like a slick ponytail. And I'm just putting up whole section by section. before my camera cut off again so what i'm really just doing i'm just putting in like some plaits for about a good 30 minutes or so and then when i'm done then i'll probably just stick it all back in the ponytail because right now it's crazy whoa i think i might just push it all back leave the twist in and just put the twist in the ponytail we'll see i just really want some protective styles y'all see how white my scalp is my hair is beyond clean, okay? Okay, y'all, really quickly put my camera down. So what I'm doing is, on my natural hair, I'm putting this, um, the grease on here, the thickness grease, and I'm going in with this leave-in conditioner and both of my As I Am products, which will be linked down below. My camera's probably about to die. But oh, I'm also tw just twisting it up. And then these straggler ends, I'm just... All right, y'all, so it's been about... 30 minutes or so. I'm not putting y'all on the ring light because that's just too much because it's gonna be real quick. Anyway, let's go ahead and um take the twist out and let's figure out what we're gonna do. But the 
curls. The curls are Alright y'all, so this is just the final look. Like I like how it's like effortless, like it looks healthy, the ponytail is healthy, the curls, the curls are popping. Okay, so those products are really really good for my um hair texture. I love it. Like even this is a cute style just to go outside with and it's my natural hair, so yeah, I'm loving it. Loving it, loving it, loving it. I love the two fringe in the front, and then we just got like a curly bun i'll probably take some pictures and insert them so it look better but anyway that's it for this video if you guys like videos like this don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel also all the products that i use in this video will be linked down below um so yeah let's get ready for this hair journey bye guys see you guys in my next video